Hi everyone. In this video, I'll teach you how to create building grow effect in Premiere Pro. I have this image on which I apply this grow effect, its link is mentioned in the description. First, select the clip, and go to the export frame icon, Ctrl plus Shift plus E is the short command of it. This will export it as PNG in the project section. Name it. Drag it into the timeline. Here I use Photoshop for masking. Right click on it and choose, Edit in Photoshop. This is our image and we need this. So here I use Pen tool for the selection. Right click on it, and choose, Make Selection. Set the feather to 0.5 pixels. Then go to Edit Menu, and Fill. Use these settings for Fill and hit OK. We didn't get our desired results here, so we will do it manually now. Keep the selection and go to the Clone Stamp tool. The Clone Stamp tool copies pixels from one area and applies them to another. Hold the Alt button to copy the pixels and apply it. I am speeding up the process to save the time. Right click on it and choose Deselect. Press Ctrl plus S to save. Go back to Premiere Pro and it's updated here. Select the original clip and click on Export Frame icon. Name it. And drag it to the timeline. Right click on it again and choose Edit in Photoshop. Now I need this part. For this, I go to Select Menu and Subject. Add a layer mask to it. I use pen tool to refine the selection. Follow me. Right-click on it and choose Make Selection. And hit OK. Then go to Select Menu and Inverse. Open the Layer Panel and hit Delete. Press Ctrl plus S to save it. Now we have this part as well. Select the original clip and click on the Export Frame icon. Name it. and drag it to the timeline. Repeat the process for the dome masking. Now I have this part as well. This is the final part that we will need. Let's move to the animation part. I give a gap of 8 frames between them. Select the top 3 layers and drag them. I proceed with layer 1 so I hide the other two for now. Select it, go to effect and search transform. Drag and drop on the clip. Open the effect controls. Go to the transform and then position. Drag it down. 
Add a keyframe here. Drag this to the 8 frames forward and click on the reset button. Here is the simple animation. Now change the shutter angle value to 360 and uncheck use composition shutter angle. Select the second keyframe, right click on it and choose temporal interpolation and ease in. Select the first and choose ease out. Then I go to the graph by clicking on this option. Create a graph like this one, where our animation begins quickly and gradually slows down at the end. We are getting our animation like this and I want it to come above from the ground. Here I create a mask using pen tool. Then click on the inverted button. And that's it. Before moving to layer 2, I add 2 frame gap between the animation. Show the layer 2 and drag it 10 frames forward. Apply the transform effect to it. Follow my settings here. Let's apply the effect to layer 3. Now select the top 3 and drag up one step. Drag the layer 3 clip downward so it appears to be coming up from the ground. Here I add, groundbreaking particles. I have this green screen, the link to this is mentioned in the description. I need a space between them, drag the top 3 clips upward. This clip has audio as well which fits properly with this effect. And this is free to use clip. Mute the audio for now. Right click on it and choose scale to frame size. Go to the effects and search ultra key. Drag it on the clip. Go to effect controls, choose the eyedropper of key color and click on the green area. Increase its speed a bit. Adjust its size. Here I use free draw bezier to create a mask to hide the bottom part of it. Click on inverted.
Now I create a copy of it drag it to the top of the video section. Then I play with the master make to look like it is coming from up as well. Select these clips, right click on them, and choose Nest. Now it is time to add a shake effect to it. For this, I create an adjustment layer. Drag it to the timeline. Now go to the effect, and search, direction blur. And drag it on the clip. Go to effects and set the blur length to 30. Make a cut at a distance of one frame and then repeat. Delete the between parts. Copy these to other positions. And that's it. If you have any questions please ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. Where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.